Hey guys, what's up? It's another day working on client work and it's one of those days where I don't have any meetings so if I don't step outside for a little bit I'm kind of stuck here all alone. So I'm going to go outside for a little bit to stretch my legs and take you guys with me to share with you what I've been thinking about today. So this week, Noah and I booked our summer vacation. We're gonna go to the south of Italy uh, in August with a couple of friends who have kids as well. And we're gonna go to Club Med right on the beach and it's gonna be awesome for the kids and also for us. Now here's the thing. Currently, I am saving all of our extra money into two kind of funds. One of them is for retirement and one of them is for buying a house. And I don't have any money specifically saved up for vacations. And since I'm not gonna, I don't wanna take out money from the, the other funds because they are more important, uh, I'm gonna have to make an extra $5,000 in the upcoming three months. Now, I'm, I'm kinda optimistic about it. I don't have a problem with that. But I wanna share with you how I'm brainstorming uh, coming up with the money. So when most people think about how to make an extra $5,000 if they're freelancers, uh, then probably what they're thinking about is to take on a client and a project and they'll get $5,000 for doing some kind of work. And while that is a, a valid option, which I might do at the end, um, it's not the only way to make money. And when you analyze it, Taking on a client work and charging uh, them $5,000 means that you're only getting one payment from one client. And you don't have to look at it like this. For example, instead of uh, thinking about you know, charging one person $5,000, I can also think about it as charging 500 people $10. Now thinking about it like that, all of a sudden gives you tons of new idea for stuff that you can do. Now, for example, I know that there are 500 people, you guys, that watch this channel every single day. So if I can make something that's cool enough for you and that you want to get or buy for $10, that's another super valid way for coming up with $5,000. And if not 500 people, I can, do, I can sell something uh, to 50 people in a hundred dollars and that'll be the same so I can do some kind of a class or something a little bit more expensive and sell it to you know a limited amount of people and that's another idea so there are so many ways infinite ways to think about how to come up with the money another way to look at this would be from time perspective since since I have three months uh, I don't have to only charge one payment if I have one client I can charge him every month uh, something like one thousand six hundred dollars and that'll give me five thousand dollars at the end of the three months or I can look at it from a daily perspective I have 90 days to go so if I if I can somehow make fifty dollars per day then they'll give me uh, I think I'm not so good at math so don't catch me at the math but you get the idea I can make fifty dollars every day I don't know maybe I'll look for a sponsor for the vlog or come up with a way to make fifty dollars every day and then I can make the money. So the number of ways or ideas to come up with extra money is, you know, infinite. You just have to brainstorm. Um, so I can sit down right now and list about 30 ideas. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any cool ideas for me to make up the money or something that you want me to sell you, you can let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do that.
right, so the day is over. I am heading to pick up Tommy from the kindergarten. And today is a Jewish holiday called Lag Ba'oma, which means everybody's doing a bonfire. It's gonna be the first time Tommy sees a bonfire. Got myself a little potato here to put in the fire, and we're gonna have a great time. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.